hey, welcome in my math party people. Coach Anderson here, and let's go ahead and ace the ASVAB today. Uh, this video is going to be a follow-up from a recent class that we did where I set up the problem for you, and I told you what the correct answer was, and I promised you that I would release this video. That way, you can see exactly how we can solve a complicated system of equations where you can't eliminate first step and you can't substitute first step because if you notice, the 5 and the 8 for the T, they're different. You know, we can't immediately add or subtract. Same thing over here. So this video is going to be dedicated to solving this problem. And just wanted to remind everybody who's in the program that remember that this is Unit 7, Arithmetic Reasoning Unit 7. If you check this out, this is the program right behind me. And you'll see that, hey, every single problem that we do, we have a step-by-step -step solution. So exactly as I'm going to go through it now, showing you, hey, we have our system of equations. This is how we're going to make sure that they have the same number in front. And then this is how we're going to eliminate and then we're done. This is exactly how I go through it in every single step-by-step -step solution, every video solution, every lesson, everything. So just wanted to make sure that you, my part of people, understand that if you're in my program, this is exactly what you want to do. Go to Unit 7 in Arithmetic Reasoning to get more problems in practice just like this. So um, if you want to learn more about the program, if you're not in it, go ahead and check the link in the description, but let's get the party going. So first things first, again, we see that we don't have the same coefficients, so we're gonna to have to get the same coefficients. And we have a decision to make because this question is telling us, hey, what's the cost of one t-shirt? And that's represented by t. So if I'm looking at it that way, my recommendation would end up being, hey, let's go ahead and eliminate the j so we can keep the t. That's one way to do it. You're more than welcome to do it that way, but if you notice, hey, getting rid of the t might be a little bit easier because you're multiplying smaller numbers. Again, it's totally gonna be up to you all the way through. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through the slightly lengthier route only if you're not comfortable with multiplying with larger numbers. But here we go. I'm gonna eliminate J to get T by itself as soon as I can. The way I can do that is by trying to find the least common multiple between eight and nine, and that's gonna be 72. To end up getting 72, I'll multiply this top equation by 9 and this bottom equation here by 8. So once we do that, here's what we get. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. 9 multiplied by 5, that'll be 45t. 8 multiplied by 9 is 72j. And then we have 283 multiplied by 9. And we can do that quickly here on the side if we need to. So in doing so, 27, 72, that'll be 74. And now we have 2 times 9, which is 18 and 25 with the 7. So we have 2547 right over here. And notice how we can stay calm throughout this whole process. 8 multiplied by 8, that'll be 64t. Then we have 8 times 9, that'll be 72j. And then after that, we have 8 multiplied by 354. So we'll perform that right over here. And again, just stay calm, cool, and collected. You know you have to perform it. Don't hesitate, don't dread it. That's gonna be 40, then 43. Then 3 multiplied by 8 is 24. Add the 4 is 28. So there we have 2832. Perfect. So now that we're here, we can move forward to just saying, hey, if I wanted to get rid of the J, I can go ahead and subtract these equations. But I'll go ahead and move this one underneath. That way when I subtract, I'll keep a positive coefficient on the T. So in doing that, boom. Now we can eliminate. Again, check this out right over here. We have 72j, 72j, that's gonna cancel out when you subtract, leaving you with 19t equals whatever this difference will be. Now to figure out what that is, we'll go ahead and borrow. So we have 12, so that'll be five. Then we borrow again, 12 minus four is eight, then seven minus five is two, and then nothing there. So we have 19t equals 285. And so we'll divide both sides by 19. And then that'll give us t equals what? So to understand what number we might want to use to guess, I'm going to take a look here and say, hey, look, if I wanted to just use a simple number, you know, 19 times what could get us close to 285? Well, if I did 10, that'd be 190. We're still quite a bit of way off. And then I also noticed that, hey, look, if I'm multiplying 9 and I'm trying to end up at a 5, it sounds like to me that I should be multiplying by 
a five or a 15 or a 25 or a 35, because the last two digits, nine times five, that ends in a five, you know, 45. If it's 15, it's 135. If it's 25, don't even get me started, I don't know, but I know it'll end in a five. So knowing that five is too small, 10 is too small, I'm gonna go with 15. And let's just take a guess and let's see if that's the case. So again, it's all about making sure that you're taking efficient guesses to shorten the time that you take. 19 times five, or times 15, excuse me, that'll be 45. Then one times five is five, carry the four is nine. Then we end up having 19 times one, add this back, and there we are. So our answer here will be one t-shirt costs $15, and that's how we end up getting D as the correct answer. So again, my math party people, Make sure to comment on this video if you felt like the solution was um, satisfactory to you. And also, if you're not in our program, remember that we have everything that you need to grow from start to finish. A fun fact about the program, no one who's finished it failed. Every single person who's finished our program ends up passing the ASVAB. That's how comprehensive it is, that's how easy it is to use, and that's why I want you to join the program. So, check the link in the description for more, and then we'll see you in the next video. Coach Anderson out. The last thing I want you to do is move on without taking advantage of all the help that you can get, including my free classes that are once a week. So before you go, go ahead and text this number right there. Go ahead and ask it. When's the next free class? My assistant is gonna text you back as soon as we can and they'll let you know when the next free class is with the link. That way you can mark your calendar and ace the ASVAB next time we're around. I'll see you in there, my party people. Let's get to it.